Hey guys, it's Sam, welcome back on my channel. Today's video is gonna be a lip swatch video, obviously. I will be sharing with you all of my Revlon lipsticks. So I will be swatching them on my arm, on my lips, and you will see how they look like. So if you're interested, keep on watching. Tonight I'll be waiting for you, baby, come and see. We'll start a little game of hide and seek. If you wanna have some fun, find me. Find me. Make a wish. I'll give you anything for just one kiss. There's nothing out there that you don't eclipse. Could someone so perfect like you exist? Let your heart come out. Run away with me. We could dance all night. If you stay with me, where the Never fade in the sun won't rise We can live while we're young Forever tonight We can stop, 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 stop. Stop, stop, 
quick review. Uh, to be honest, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with these lipsticks. Well, not love-hate. That would be a little bit on the extreme side. Probably like, like, not care so much about. Like the cream finishes, like the one that I'm wearing right now, I'm wearing uh, Primrose, which is one of my favorite color. But the formula is so sheer because it is a cream finish. You have to build it up a lot to get this intensity. And on the side of my lips, I'll zoom in. Uh, you can still kind of see my natural lip color. So I would have to wear a lip liner with most of these on a daily basis to really be able to pull it off because after drinking like a few sip of water, it's gonna be like gone and my the sides of my lips are not the exact same color as the inside. So it just looks a little funky, funky. Weird. <laughs> As for the matte finishes, I feel like they're really, really drying and you can kind of see them like really being chalky on your lips. Like you can see any fine lines, any dry patches. And it just really does not look good from up close. If you're gonna wear a uh, lip gloss or something over it, it might not be as bad. I personally much prefer cream finishes and matte finishes, not super drying ones or the one that look milky like weight base, like the uh, Sky Pink, which one? That one does not look super fantastic on the lips, not gonna lie. And I'm not a crazy fan of pearl finishes, which are mostly like frost finishes. And the sad thing is some of them are supposed to be cream, but they're not. Like the one I'm wearing right now, this one is in a coral berry and it kind of has a limit frosty pearl finish. So yeah, that kind of sucks. Oh, by the way, the thing I don't like about pearl finishes is, yes, they do look uh, a little bit frosty on the lips, but it's mostly that even if I take them off with a baby wipe, they're still like, glitters on my lips. So that's not my favorite. I know some people don't mind it. I do. <laughs> so overall, I know that whenever I do my uh, decluttering video about lip products, a lot of these are gonna get donated to friends and family or people that are gonna use them a lot more than me. But once in a while, I do get a shade that I really, really enjoy, like the one I'm wearing right now. This one is in Love That Pink. It's kind of a uh, pinky red shade and it's super pigmented, like super one swipe and it's like intense. Love that, love that shade, so it's really like hit and miss basically. By the way, none of them really has a scent except the green packaging ones. I thought they smell like fruits and no, they really don't. They smell like plasticky, perfumey, old lady-ish. <laughs> but yeah, love the color though. I'll deal with the scent if the color is nice and that's the case for that one. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if it's not already done and I will see you in my next video, bye. So if your lips are not as pigmented or like perfectly regular and everything, then you might be able to love these lipsticks, but for me it's gonna be, yeah, yeah, yeah.